excited about it. I'm excited to about it. it too. You were supposed to do it in during this hour of what a couple of weeks ago, and we're now 50 seconds away. Tell us what we're to expect here. Well, we're going to see 3.6 million pounds of thrust come out the aft end of the nozzle of this motor, and uh, it will reach that thrust level in just a, a little under a second, and it will stay at that thrust level for almost two minutes and ten seconds. Uh, it will program through a thrusting uh, profile that throttles it up and down, and will also vector the nozzle around so you'll see the plume actually dance around, and we're going to run it through a rigorous test to make sure it's on track to, to do all that we promised that we would deliver with well, this new capability. We're 16 seconds away. Let's listen and watch. Here we go. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire. have ignition of the Ares 1 first stage five segment solid rocket motor. System is now being activated. Well, that was pretty burn. darn incredible. Are you As kidding expected. me? Now you see moving in from the right in the lower part of your screen, the CO2 quench arm. It's like a large CO2 fire extinguisher to put out the fire on the nozzle and the internal components of the rocket motors so the engineers can see the condition that they were exactly at the end of firing. Very important for collecting the data that's necessary. Well, for those Everything of you who may have tuned in just a few seconds firing. late, this is the first major test of the brand new rocket engine, uh, which will eventually pro propel man back to the surface of the moon. Uh, wow, Charlie Precourt is with us. He's head of the company that built that thing. How in the world did you anchor that rocket in that way? And what did we just see? Chip, that's exactly what we had to do as anchor and so that we could collect data. Um, and you can imagine with uh, 650 channels of electronic instrumentation to understand the fine-tuned uh, parameters and characteristics of this motor, we had to anchor it on a concrete block that goes deep into the ground in front of it. What what will this test tell you about what, uh, what needs to be done and what's right on track? Well, we, we will uh, make sure.